Hey nerds, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your name servers from Wix to something else. In this instance, we're going to be using Squarespace. And the reason why we want to do this is because for this instance, we're trying to add a subdomain MX record. If you didn't know, Wix does not allow you to add um, subdomain MX records. They all have to be on the main host name, the main domain name. So if we're trying to make mail.jdocsolutions.com as an email address because we want to send mass email through Go High Level, Active Campaign, or some other system, we can't do that with Wix as itself. So what we've done here is since the domain name is already bought through um, Google, which is now Squarespace, we have transferred all of the records that are in um, Wix right now that may be using, you know, Gmail, for example, or Google, Google Workspace as um, an email so that we want to make sure that no mail, nothing goes down. Um, so since we have added the records, then um, we're all good. Some special records that we want to make sure that are in here, if we go back into the domain name, that we have um, the at a record IP address that ends in 107, or depending on if Wix updates it, this is just what it is at the time. And this refers to your actual Wix um, website. And then we need to make sure that we have a CNAME record here for www. Uh, C name that is going to pointing.wixdns.net. Go to our name servers and we're going to use the Squarespace name servers. We're going to use the name servers. So it's going to update here. And now everything is going to pull from here versus if I go to DNS records, it's not going to pull from from this information. So something to keep in mind is if you need to add any other DNS records going forward, you're going to want to make sure that you use Squarespace in this example um, for adding records because this is what is actually showing actual DNS manager. So now what I've done is I've gone to dnschecker.org. Um, and then we've gone to look up the actual NS records, which is going to say, which is going to be the name server. So um, it is Google is the DNS server. However, and then we see that the Google domains are here. However, if we go to Cloudflare, we're going to see everything pop up the same, which basically tells us that the NS records in Google, which if we went to domain name servers, looks like they all match and the website is still up. So that is perfect. It looks like all of this is transferred correctly. I'm going to go in and check the MX records to see if the subdomain that we wanted added went through. All right, so good news. Um, this is all verified before these two were not verified. Sorry, I couldn't get a screenshot for you for that. Um, but yeah, so that's all we had to do. Super simple transition. You just want to make sure that all of the DNS records that are in Wix are in Squarespace before you make that switch. But you don't need to disconnect the domain name or anything like that. I know there's a lot of different like confusing information. But if you have any questions about this, if this worked for you, please leave a comment down below and let me know um, if this was helpful or if you need any help in the future, feel free to contact us. Um, the information is in the description of this video and make sure to like and share and all that stuff. And I will see you next time.